In this demo, I'm going to show you how testers and developers can collaborate to find bugs faster using Visual Studio 2010 Lab Management Environments and IntelliTrace. After your workflow build has run, it's easy for testers and developers to use it for manual testing and bug bashing. Here I've got a manual test to find for the application built and deployed earlier. I'm going to run the manual test and use the run with options choice. By picking the run with options choice, I can choose the build I want to use and what build configuration I want my test associated with. In addition, I can control the test settings and environment to use. In this example, I'm using the test plan defaults, which include my environment with my build already deployed in it. I'll click Run to start the manual test runner. When the test runner starts, the first thing I do is start the test. Once the test is started, I can access environment options. I'm now going to connect to the environment. Once I'm connected to the environment, I will mark that I'm using the environment so others don't try and use it. When I mark the environment in use, I can provide a comment about what I'm doing. I will now go full screen so it's easier to interact with the virtual machine. I can now continue and start executing the test. I've completed the first step, start the application. I'll now enter the dividend. I'll mark the step as complete. I'll now enter the divisor. I'll now click the divide button. Notice how the test runner tells me what I should see happen. And now you see the app is gone. It's crashed. Obviously not what I want. I'll mark this step as failed. I'll enter a comment. So that a developer can check things out directly where I found the bug, I'm going to take a snapshot of the environment. I need to wait while the snapshot is taken. Now that the snapshot is complete, which I can see under the failed step by the LVR link, I can create a bug. I'll fill out the bug with relevant information. You can see the bug has the step information about what I was doing and includes the link to the environment snapshot I created. In addition, I have the IntelliTrace log and the system information included. I'll save and close the bug. At this point, the test is complete, so I'll click Save and Close to exit the test runner. Now, I'll switch over to my developer persona. I'm going to run a query to see if I have any bugs. I'll run the active bugs query for the current iteration. I'll right click and select Open to run the query. I can see the newly created bug assigned to me. I can drill down and review the details of the bug. If available, the first step after reading the bug is to open the IntelliTrace log. This IntelliTrace log shows that it has successfully mapped the log data to a build published on my build server. 
This means it has valid symbols and we'll be able to match up the correct source file. The first thing I look for is exceptions. Sure enough, there's an exception. Looking at the exception detail, I can see it's in my code. Double clicking on the exception takes you straight to the line of code that caused the exception. How cool is that? I can see the exception data in the locals window. I can also see more detail in the IntelliTrace window. I can now stop the debugger. That's a key thing to note. When using IntelliTrace, I'm using the debugger I know and love. However, the app is not running. I'm simply using the IntelliTrace log like a VCR. I can move forwards and backwards over my application's execution to see what happened in the test environment. I'll return back to my bug. Now I can connect to the environment via the snapshot link. When I click the link, the environment viewer launches. It starts restoring the environment to the snapshot created by the tester. I can monitor the progress easily. Once loaded, I can try things out for myself. I'll run the app and try to divide by zero. Looks like the tester is right. If need be, I could even attach my debugger. But I think I've seen enough. With IntelliTrace and the environment snapshot, I've seen all I need to go fix the bug. In this demo, I showed you how testers and developers can collaborate to find bugs faster using Visual Studio 2010 Lab Management and IntelliTrace.